Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwiser and welcome back to From the Depths, building a complete ship start to finish. We are so close to done, it is amazing, never thought we'd get here, that's a lie, I knew. Uh, we uh, have done pretty much everything practical, well almost everything practical to do with the scrub, so now it's time for prettiness. I've been looking forward to this. Uh, it's the aesthetics portion of the series. Now. This is actually one of the more important things about craft, which I feel sometimes is overlooked. The most important thing about any craft you make in From the Depths is like, well, it's equal parts engineering, as in it does what it's supposed to do and designed to do, but it's also art in that does it make you happy by looking at it or by it existing? So, uh, there's a number, there are many things to do with aesthetics. Uh, I'm, pro I'm gonna keep it simple uh, for two reasons. Firstly, uh, there's not a hell of a lot to do here uh, for what I intend, and also, I am somewhat infamous uh, for being not great as aesthetics. Uh, my aesthetic needs uh, tend to be quite minimal, and so we're just going to, well, do like the bare minimum as an example. First off, one of the things I absolutely love, jeez, this thing does not float well. One of the things I absolutely love, and this is a reasonably recent addition uh, to the game, uh, is camo. So what you do is you, there's a whole list of uh, camo, by the way. So it's listed here, uh, by the way. So like, da 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 da, camo art, da 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 da. Right, I don't know where exactly you go to find all the camos, but um, yeah, so it's basically here, I guess, but not really. Uh, we're gonna go with Camo Arctic because uh, that's what I always do. So I type in hashtag Camo Arctic, and I like Camo Arctic 2. You see over on the alloy portions over here, we have Arctic 2. And that looks a little bit funny because uh, the pattern isn't right, so you can adjust the pattern a little bit by doing this. It generally looks better when it's big, so we're gonna set it to 0.3. That usually does the trick. And now I'm going to set that elsewhere as well, like so. And there's also, there's all kinds of groovy things. So here we have all this, and that's basically it. You'll notice we can't really camo wood. Uh, there are, there's, well, there's ways, we can paint the wood. So, you can, if you want, go to here to go to free paint. What color should we paint the wood? Let's paint, let's paint this a uh, somewhat paler color. Just to have it match a little bit. What color is this? Color 8. Now, you can do that, or you can use the paint tool, which I am very helpfully uh, already put uh, on uh, my hotbar, and you can do this. This is often quite faster. Or... Uh, you can actually build in the colors of whatever you want. It helps to think of that ahead of time. Uh, or you can do this. Just making sure I'm giving commodities. I'm going to... Well, I don't even need to do that. So we're going to go wood. No, wait. What is this? This is reinforced wood. So we want to go armor refit, reinforced wood. Uh, still the reinforced wood, but it's going to go color 0 to 8. Refit. That is a super handy feature, and this thing is ready to head north to the Arctic to do stuff. I'm liking how this looks already. I think it looks quite cool. So, what else can we do? What else can we do? Ah, yes. Many things we can do. I am going to color the gun barrels to be a darker color, uh, just to contrast. And so, I tend to use color 4 for this. So, let's go... Here, is that right? Yes, it is. Wee, wee. This, by the way, um, your style of aesthetics and from the depths, that is very, very individual. You owe nobody but yourself. Um, basically, what am I trying to say here? Basically, do the things that make you happy, and if it, uh, if other people disapprove, well. They better have uh, damn good reasons and logical ones at that uh, for disapproving of whatever you do to make your ships pretty. Uh, because, quite frankly, it none of their business, isn't it? Okay, so we've got contrasting colors on the gun barrels. I like that. You can also uh, do fun things. Ooh, let's 
actually do whoops camouflage textures let's do that on the heavy armor as well new, 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 new. there we go that did nothing all right so what else can we do here we can do a little bit of deco work so you can use mimics which are where is it decorations where's the mimics at mimics hello am i am i stupid all right so here's a mimic block and you can go here and go to any block you want let's say go rubber pole and you can basically have the mesh of the thing to make your thing pretty but even better than that is deco so you go control x and you can add a decoration onto any block you like or you can even go control shift x with a block selected and uh, you can price anything you like so I like to use, what should we use here? Let's go color four and let's go to, what should we go to? Actually, let's go to color eight and let's go to steam. Steam tanks are great uh, for, uh, for mantlets when you want to play around with them. So, oops, hang on, let's actually, it also helps to orientate them the right way. I just lost it. I'm a bad boy. I just lost it. Lost it completely. So let's do... Uh, forward, backward. That's not correct. Forward, backward we want... What do we want? We want three. And we want to... Shove that over... Hmm... If I do that, is that going to be weird? No, that actually looks good. That's good. That never happens. Uh, left, right scaling. And we're going to do a little bit of... Whoops, not pitch, not pitch, not pitch. Roll down a little bit. Whoopsie daisy. Sometimes it sticks. That's very annoying. apply with mirror that only works when mirror mode is on what does that look like that looks actually not bad you know what though we're going to copy all delete all and we're just going to what are we going to do we're going to do that and we're going to put that in the middle instead and just make it real wide so what's it left was it for the left There we go, and we have a mantlet of sorts for our cram cannon. I like the look of that. I think that looks good. I think that looks jolly good. It's amazing just also how a craft transforms and how it looks uh, once you add a little bit of uh, love and deco on it. So, we're going to do a similar thing here, but slightly different. Go paste all. Going to go... Forward, backward positioning a little bit. We're going to do left, right scaling. Noops. Noops, 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 noops. And zero. And that looks funny, so we're going to get rid of the roll. And to drop that by one. Down scaling is going to go to 2. No, it's going to go to 1.5. Scaling is going to be a bit bigger. Forward backwards positioning is going to go back here. And what do we got there? We have a similar but not quite the same mantlet. And apply all. And we have a similar mantlet over here. Look at that. Look at that indeed. You can also do cunning things uh, with putting mimics like uh, on the barrels itself. So you know what I'm gonna do uh, because I like how cram barrels look. I'm going to go over here and what do we want? We want I like these barrels here. So we're gonna do this. Does that look cool? I think it looks kind of cool. Let's just do this. Right, 1.5, up, down, 1.5. How's that look? That looks good. 
let's copy that, copy all. You do have to be careful with decoration to uh, not go too nuts because it can be quite laggy. It's less laggy than Mimics, but uh, yeah. You know what would also be good if these were slightly elevated? There we go. There we go. The idle elevation is pretty much just an aesthetic thing. Not aware that it has any kind of practical use. Look at that. Oh, she's looking pretty. She's looking she's looking pretty pretty. Alright, what else do we want to do here? There was something I wanted to think about. Ooh! Right, alright, so decorations uh, recently to the game. Um one of the things you can do is wait a minute. Trying to remember what what group did I set the missiles to? Anyway, so uh, one of the things you can do is decorate your missile. So I'm going to go in here inside my utter disgrace uh, of a compartment, and I'm going to have not one but two missile decoration blocks. So we're going to go. Where are we going to go? We're going to go here. Uh, no, it's in missiles. We've got the munition decorator. It's over here. And let's just paint that in a different color. All right. So now. Uh, let's just go double check how many segments our missiles are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we can hop over. Wait, is this the same over here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How convenient for us. So now we're going to hop in here and we're going to decorate our missiles a little bit. So over here, Q model length is 10. Model diameter is eh, 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 doesn't matter. Okay, so we're gonna call this one torpedoes. Is that how you spell torpedoes? Eh, probably. Disable the missile model. And what do we want to do? We want to uh, lob a metallic thing. So we're gonna go here, and we're going to what color should it be? It should be. It's gonna be color eight because I just like that. I'm gonna go here, put deco on this. I could actually do this, this helps. And control X, forward, backward scaling is gonna be 10. Forward, backward positioning is gonna be, what is it gonna be? It's like five, no, it's gonna be 4.5, because that makes sense. And what can we do here? We're going to actually add a propeller on the end of this, because that makes sense uh, for a torpedo. Uh, let's make it black, because that's fun. The water, propeller circular. And forward, backward position. Interesting, that does not appear to be working. What if I use a slightly different propeller? Hmm? I think the steam propellers um, tend to work better for this. Yes. There we go. There we go. And let's put some fins on there. The easiest way to add fins is to go here and just put a tailplane on it. That's what I like to do. And let's just shrink this a little bit. So. And then we need something right over there at the head. So what we're going to do is I like to put a 360. We're going to put a 360 sonar over there on the front. Uh, since this is the um, since this is the torpedo thing. So we're going to go forward, backward, positioning. Where would it be? It doesn't... Ever color you want, it's magic. Something like this. A little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Yes, yes, yes. And now we must see how this looks. Go over here, torpedo. Well, no, that's the radars. Wait, no. Torpedo sonar. Which is the front of this thing again? I've completely forgotten. So let's go over here. It's gonna go torpedoes, apply, 
And you'll see here that we've got a problem. Let's see now how this looks. It looks interesting. Right, let's hop over. Let's hop over to the torpedo. Actually, no, we don't need to do that. We can do just do this and let's spawn in something that we can torpedo. Let's spawn in a plunderer. Oh, and I should probably move, otherwise I'm gonna have problems. Alright, so here we have a torpedo. The propeller does not move, unfortunately. And I think I'm gonna make this uh, darker, and I think I'm going to adjust uh, the tailplanes. But yeah, there's, there is actually a practical uh, component to um, having to decorating your missiles like this. And that is, uh, you can tell which missiles are yours, and you can also tell which missiles uh, come from which craft that you have, which is quite handy. So let's just adjust. Let us just adjust. Okay, fine. Have it your way. Wait, no, what am I doing? Let's just go in here, find this. I'm just going to change the color of this. Wait, where's the tail planes? Alright, so problem I have now with this. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that as is for now. And I'm going to. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna change that to four because why not? But I'm also going to put this. Uh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do. This forward backward positioning a little bit, and also this forward backward positioning a little bit because I don't want it poking out. There we go. Poking out of the bloody thing. No, it isn't. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that's the torpedoes. And now we're gonna go here, gotta copy all, and we're gonna do something similar. Control C, Control V, Control X, paste all. Except this is going to be missiles. And now we just change. What do we change? Let us change that to a jet. So hover jet. What does that look like? Ooh, uh, just where is it? Jet engine. Okay. What does that look like? That doesn't look right. Doesn't look right at all. Zoom out of it. There we go. I'm just talking to myself right now. And damn it, this is already like kind of longer than I thought it would be. Oh well, I should have guessed. Going back with position. There we go. And we're gonna change that thing all the way on the front so what is it sonar 360 we can turn that into a 360 radar because um or no uh, 360 go radar 360 old let's see wait no what did i do did i click on the wrong i think i did oh you piece of crap okay no Damn it! Okay. <sighs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not the stuff up, it is how you deal with the stuff up. There we go. And this is the Sonar 360. And then that. How bad does that look? That looks... I don't know how that looks. Right, let us... Do this again. Let's spawn the Buccaneer. Let's see how these things look. Oh, wait. Nope. Before we do that, we actually need to, uh... Go here. Missiles. Does it poke through the hatches? No, it does not. And these ones, I think. Oh, lordy. Okay, new. No. Right, you know what's really helpful, though? Is to... Go over here. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? 
and actually look at the missile that you're uh, messing with rather than the actual deco thing because it doesn't always manage it. All right. So. Um. One. not. Alright, let's change that to... What can we change it to? Just radar... 360... What does that look like? Oh, that looks better. That looks better. I think. Yes. Alright, let's see that again. Let us see that again. Buccaneer, go here. Okay, let's lock onto one of these and hello! This is not the prettiest missile you've ever seen. And there's no particular reason I should... What the hell? Oh, right! Hello, you have Sea Wiz! That's annoying, I'm just going to turn on all my other weapons and just kill you because I guess I'm allowed to do that. Oh my goodness, AI dead. Guess I didn't need to do that. Or was it the particle cannon that did that? Anyway, uh, what else can we do? Alright, so... Since we've already seen twice how to decorate missiles, I'm going to just uh, slap down a prefab uh, for the interceptors, which I have. Because I have a prefab, which is actually combined with another prefab, which I probably shouldn't have done. Let's go... Here, where is it, where is it, where, where is it? Yeah, decorating. You can also prefab decorations, by the way. It's a very good idea. So let's go here, whoop. What have we got here? We got that. And delete all. And here we have the, uh, what I use basically for all my interceptors these days, because that's funny to me. And we'll do that, and yes, there we go. And we'll just hop over here. We'll just go here, interceptors, and we're gonna have to adjust that a little bit. Let's see there. Yep, definitely gonna have to adjust that a little bit. Thankfully, that's not hard. You think I would have uh, fixed this in the prefab already? But no, you would be mistooken. All right, so upright scaling, just a little bit less. Less, there we go. So just a little bit less. So just a little bit less. So just a little bit less. Oh, you UI. From the depths, UI. It uh, takes a lot of getting used to. Alright, so now I'm actually going to save this as. What should I save it as? Hello? Interceptor Deco. Yay! We did it! Okay, that's basically it. That's, uh. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. There is a thing I must do. I absolutely must do. I've started doing this, um. Uh, with my craft these days. Again, it's aesthetic, so literally nothing I do is things that you have to do yourself. But, I have a prefab fortress with eyes and teeth on it, and I just like to put eyes and teeth on all my craft. And that's just, I, do, I don't know, I like doing that. It's amazing how much uh, personality uh, it gives a craft when you put eyeballs on it. So here's my eyes, and I don't have any good eyes. Ooh, I do have good eyes for the transition blocks. Yes, well done, Passporter Wise. You remember the thing. Whee! Alright, so which end is the front? Also quite handy for remembering which end is supposed to be the front. Where should we put you? We'll put you... There. And then we'll make you a bit bigger. Up, and it's up, down. Yes, yes, yes. And... Whee! 
All right, so. Very surprised. This ship has seen things. And now I realize we must. What's it? There we go. And apply with mirror. And just like that. It is quite handy to save. If you find yourself using uh, decorations a lot, uh, it's very handy to save uh, whatever you've done. So now we've got eyeballs, which are not even visible below the waterline for the most part. Uh, I'm actually just going to shrink the camouflage of the metal just a smidge. There we go. There we go. And spawn in my other fortress that I happen to have. Uh, deco is really just, you've got to fiddle around with it a lot, so I'm not going to go too in-depth on that. There's not much to it. You just mess around with it until it makes you happy. All right, we're just going to add teeth here. The teeth are going to start just below the eyes. Like, let's go. I'm going to actually start from the front here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And these are wooden teeth, but um, I'm just going to keep it like that because I find it. Funny. Did you expect uh, real teeth on a ship? If so, I worry about you. Four, and that will do. And then I'm going to color this. Whoops. Three paint. There we go. Look at this. Look at her. She's looking like a something. She looks quite nervous, actually. I think it's because she knows what the next video is going to be. So, uh, that will do for this one, I reckon. Let's go back to the folder that this thing currently lives in. Complete craft. Boop! And, of course, we're just going to pull you out of play. And let's spawn two buccaneers, because that's hilarious. And this is effectively a preview of what the next... Uh, video is going to be because it's going to be combat testing so on that note thank you all so much for watching please like comment subscribe if you want to see more videos like this support me on patreon or youtube membership if you like it really helps and there's fun perks in it for you thank you to all my current supporters and i will see you next time in from the depths farewell